Good morning, High Tides. It's that time of year where you should be thinking of classes. Have you heard of the Scholars Academy? This one might help you guide to good classes and impress colleges. Hello, High Tides. Do you know what a scholar is? A scholar is a person who is highly educated or has an aptitude for study. At Beach High, we have the Scholars Academy, which makes you take rigorous courses such as honors classes and advanced placement classes in preparation for the International Baccalaureate, or the IB program. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Carol, for those of you who don't know who I am. And the Scholars Academy is a cohort within the public school system, which enables students to take college credit classes like dual enrollment and advanced placement in order to get into the higher level class schools, universities, colleges, um, like Ivy League and elite schools. In the Scholars Program, students must maintain an unweighted GPA of 3.0 in the five core academic subjects, English, Foreign Language, Social Studies, Science, and Math, and take these courses every year. Students must have completed Honors, honors Physical Science and Honors Algebra 1 before Grade 9. Students must take one required AP class in Grade 9, a minimum of two AP classes in Grade 10, and three AP classes in Grade 11 and 12 in the classroom. They must complete Precalculus in Math. Students are recommended to participate in an executive internship in grade 11 or 12 and are required to take at least one FLVS class. They're pretty simple. Um, to enter in ninth grade, you need to have taken Algebra 1 and Physical Science, but we do help students uh, who haven't met that requirement, and the unweighted GPA is a 3.0, and for students that are already here at Beach, we really help them through FLVS and acceleration so that they can join any time before senior year. So just because someone didn't join in eighth grade doesn't mean that they can't join for in ninth grade for 10th grade, 10th grade for 11th grade, and even 11th grade for 12th grade, especially if a student has really matured and, and done their best. So we look to help people get into the academy, not to get them out. University admission is very competitive. Some universities and Ivy League schools may also favor a rigorous math and science curriculum. Consult the scholar's office for help with subject selection and elective choices. Students entering the IB diploma program in grade 11 have specific requirements and options. Um, part of it is because we're a smaller cohort, so there's less students within the academy itself. We have 750, including the IB students, and we have two coordinators, myself, Mr. Rodriguez, we have a counselor, Ms. Williams, in the office, and an AP in charge of us, who right now is Dr. Cespedes. So you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention than being in the regular classes where one of our counselors could have 600 kids and have to deal with other issues other than just her, six, her or his 600 kids. Hi tights, are you a scholar? The Scholars Academy is great, but it isn't for everyone. Apparently, our laws aren't for everyone either. There are a group of people called sovereign citizens that operate under a different set of rules than most people. Let's learn about them. The sovereign citizen movement has been gaining a lot of traction as of late. The movement has become popular due to their interesting ideals about not having to obey the laws of the nation they reside in. They believe themselves to be private citizens and are not subject to the laws of the land. Sovereign citizens believe that the highest form of authority is not a mayor or governor, but instead the county sheriff. The sovereign citizen movement has been spreading across the U.S., but it has been concentrated mainly in the Midwest. The FBI actually classifies many followers of the movement to be domestic terrorists and many examples support the idea, such as the whole Oklahoma City bombing, with one conspirator being Terry Nichols. He was a known sovereign citizen. Sovereign citizens have gained a lot of popularity due to the fact that they oppose speeding tickets and drug charges by saying that they are private citizens and thus not subject to the laws of the U.S. Some notable sovereign citizens include Jared Fogel, Edward Brown, and John Joe Gray. People have differing opinions on the movement. High tides, what do you think? Speaking of different opinions, it's time for debatable questions. I think it depends if you were born with the missing eye or not. You're winking. Winking. Not doing none. Uh, blinking. You're winking. <laughs> winking. <laughs> blinking. 
Depends. Blinking. I mean, wait, are you like trying to blink or are you trying to to wink? Okay, I'm gonna say blinking. Blinking. No. Yes. I don't know. Blinky. Succeed. Uh, um, I guess succeed. Cause you're, cause like you were trying to. Okay, yeah. Succeed. 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 Ball out. That's right. You failed at succeeding. Succeeded. I don't know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Can we skip this question? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Black. White. Nothing. White. I mean, I guess white. Clear. White. Beige. White. <laughs> I don't know why I said beige. <laughs> it just seems like it would be beige. I think it's white. That or black. No, white. Yeah. So then. No. Yeah. They do like flips and stuff. Yeah, it is kind of a sport because it's like gymnastics. Yeah. No, 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 it's not a sport. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're physically doing something, then yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah. Those questions may be debatable, but facts aren't. There's no debating that this is now the year of the pig. The Chinese New Year involves 12 different animals that cycle each year, the pig being the 12th. Last year was the year of the dog, with this year being the year of the pig. With there being five types of pigs, metal, water, wood, fire, and earth. People born in the year of the pig are shown to be philanthropic and generous, but are also disciplined and hardworking. Do you know what your animal is? Oh. Whether you believe in Chinese zodiacs or anything else, let's be respectful of other people's beliefs. Have a good day, hi-dides.